what's up guys this is Barry Danix just want to give you guys a heads up if you guys have not watched my video on how to control a servo with a Raspberry Pi you might want to do that before we actually hop into this video I'm uh, expecting that you guys already know how to do that portion of it I and mean, I will give you guys all the code too first thing we're actually gonna be going over is EV dev and this is actually a Python library that will allow us to uh, read the input coming in from like an outside device like for our instance a controller and we can actually utilize that inside a code to uh, manipulate certain devices or do whatever you want with it once it's actually inside of your program and uh, just here's a few things that we're actually gonna have to do we're gonna have to import the library and we're also gonna have to import the uh, like EV dev dot input device and then we can actually put what our device is that we're gonna be reading and then also the codes uh, to like specify like the EV dev dot e codes to specify what part of the device we're actually trying to read um, and also EV test this is actually the command inside of Linux to actually see what the input is now for uh, Bluetooth I don't know how many of you guys actually connect on the terminal but Bluetooth control is how you uh, you actually do that inside of Linux and it's a Linux command line utility very easy to use you could pretty much and the Bluetooth devices around you is the same thing that you would get with your cell phone or your computer here's an example of me just running a command um, and, but uh, all you're gonna have to do is actually do Bluetooth control and then afterwards all you want to do is actually do scan on and then you want to pair with the actual and once you actually have the scan on you're gonna get the MAC address and then put that into each of them for pair trust and connect and then I'll actually show you inside of here Uh, and I am gonna be blurring some of my Mac addresses uh, just to give you guys a heads up I'm gonna let you guys see as much as possible But uh, you can also see I have another example on the upper right of what we're doing here so And you can see I did scan on I found the Xbox controller Mac address copied it and Then we could do the pair and then put the Mac address through that inside of there and uh, then we're gonna do the trust throw the MAC address in and then we're gonna do the connect and you can actually look at the controller on the right there it will connect right after we hit that button yep so now we can just exit out of there clear that up and now we're just making sure that device is actually in there what the name is so LS dev input and you can see event 0 there and that's the actual one we're gonna be using today that is the controller so event in then we could do use the EV test dev input and then event zero and then you can actually see the inputs from the actual controller right here and uh, it's going to look like a lot of stuff being thrown on there and it really is but we're actually going to separate uh, a lot of this out so we only get the right and left of the left analog stick but you can see different buttons and everything it's important to actually you look at the type and also the code and that's what we were talking about uh, with some of the commands so ev abs and uh, that they, that's going to be something that we're going to need to use inside of the code. And you can also see ABS uh, underscore Y. Uh, that's actually up and down on the left controller. We're going to want ABS X. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys here. So yeah, there you go, ABS X. All right, we're just going to import EV dev and then we're also going to make a for loop and we're just going to call our variable event and uh, we're going to also uh, correlate that with EV dev dot input device and then our actual device and then dot read loop and we're also going to have to do uh, the EV uh, dev dot e codes and then uh, put in our EV underscore ABS and our EV uh, dev dot e codes uh, dot abs dot underscore x and then we're just going to print out uh, our event value and you can actually see we have a value here in between zero and then 65,535 is uh, the values and we're actually going to be using that va those values to actually manipulate our servo so you can see we're just going to make a new python uh, script right here
And now uh, we're not only going to be reading the inputs for the controller, and this is actually where uh, our manipulating a servo with a Raspberry Pi comes in yesterday, like our importing uh, at NumPy, uh, RPI.GPIO, and time. I'm not going to get into that really. But right now we're actually going to be using NumPy to actually have the value correlate in between 2 and 12 and the 0 and 65,535 and you actually see it, it, it's a little bit jittery and that's and I'm gonna get into how we could actually fix that but uh, you can see that we're actually uh, listing out our event type and if it equals evdev.evcodes uh, dot ev underscore abs again and then the abs underscore x and if that those are all true uh, like we did before, we're actually correlating the 0 and 65,535 to two, in between 2 and 12. So you can actually see, if I actually run this as pseudo, uh, we're actually going to get a value representing uh, in between 2 and 12 to the, what, it, what it's actually importing from the controller. <clears throat> Got to fix a few things here. Okay, and you can see what the problem is right away. There is nothing in between each number. So in between eight and seven, there is no uh, fractions of those in between them two numbers. So it's a little bit jumpy. So it's not as smooth, which it works perfectly fine depending on your application. But uh, I'm gonna, I ended up fixing that, and I'll show you how I did that. So, and once again, we're importing AVDiv and uh, RPI.GPIO, and we're also importing time, but uh, we're not going to be using NumPy anymore. Um, there, there is ways that we can use that and uh, get the smooth results just like we did on the first video, but I found uh, that this was easier and I also just had less code. So I make it in our for loop. And once again, EV underscore ABS and uh, ABS underscore X. What I actually ended up deciding to do is making a variable named angle. And I uh, divided the event value that we ended up getting in from the controller's left analog stick and then dividing that by 6,553.5 to get uh, a number in between 0 and 10. And then I just added 2 to that so we have in between 2 and 12. And you can actually see that works pretty well. And you can see that actually smooths out the servo tremendously. So you have uh, uh, like uh, just a lot smoother operation of the actual servo. So uh, hopefully this ended up helping you guys out. Uh, if you guys ended up liking the video, leave a like. If you ended up disliking the video, leave a dislike. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.